I would say as a person who has watched every episode of this series, I can say this. What a cheap end to a really great dynamic character of Dexter Morgan. Then basically destroying anything decent about the anti-hero that was developed throughout the entire series. Now, I know what some of you are saying. How can there be any decency to a man who dismembers bodies and then get rid of them? Well, that's the whole point. It was all about the code. Which, by the way, Dexter does mention in this series finale. So, uh, warning, spoilers ahead. Um, this is the code which Dexter only kills bad people. Which, made, which gave the character his uniqueness. And making viewers of the series perhaps question their own moralities. Asking themselves, is what Dexter is doing really okay? Of course, from an audience perspective, we saw Dexter take out a lot of sickos. Um, I'll give you an example. His very first kill on the show itself was a child killer. Immediately, you got the sense that Dexter was making the world a better place. A code that the show itself worked so hard to establish in previous seasons only to be thrown away in a couple of bad decisions in this convoluted mess of an hour. The huge problem with this finale was the problem with the original series finale. Dexter just simply became selfish. And this time it led to him throwing away the code by uh, just uh, making the spur of the moment decision to kill someone that did not fit that code. And that person being uh, Coach Logan, the deputy sheriff, um, perhaps the most decent person in the entire 10 episode revival. Um, it just felt out of place and it only served a, in a weak attempt to detach the audience from the main character just to try to necessitate his ultimate demise, which does come in the, in the finale. There was barely any time to focus on the other events like the big revelation of Clancy Brown's character, Kurt Caldwell's murderous legacy and poor Angela, who was literally all over the place on this episode to the point of impossibility of being able to move that fast. And perhaps the most confusing of it all was the culmination of the entire revival. Harrison actually being the one to kill Dexter. Uh, the whole daddy issues trope coming full circle. I mean, well, he does call out Dexter about deviating from his code, um, you know, with killing Officer uh, Logan, um, like I mentioned earlier. Also, I mean, you just get this feeling that Harrison killing Dexter didn't seem poetic enough. I mean, yes, killing Logan was effed up, but Harrison spent the majority of his time with Kurt and should have had a red crust with mentors. But Coach Logan did teach Harrison how to break an arm. And also, this happened after Dexter and Harrison finds their father-son connection. I mean, both born in blood, all of a sudden, it's too much for a little arm breaker who carries a razor, a straight razor, an actual symbol of his mother's own violent death. And like Dexter, you know, with his whole one bad kill, what could it hurt mentality, completely deviating from the code like it was nothing. Everything that had made Dexter, well, Dexter. You know, there was a couple of missed opportunities and one of them, I will say, was a teased reunion between Dexter and Angel Batista, which would not have been good for Dexter, but would have been uh, interesting to say the least. But that, of course, you know, will not happen. Uh, 
you know, also, I mean, a possible continuation, you know, maybe perhaps, you know, during a trial of the Bay Harbor Butcher, I mean, would have made for some interesting television, but of course, because of the demise of the character, uh, that won't happen as well. Um, as far as the revival itself, it was great for nine episodes, you know, for the return to the Dark Passenger. But just like the original finale, it just kills itself in the end. Um, only this time, there are no more chances because the character of Dexter Morgan is dead, dead, dead and won't be returning. For fans of the character such as myself, there is this feeling that in the end, Dexter might have deserved a better send off than this. <laughs>